Throughout its relatively short history as an independent state, South Sudan has been racked by violent conflict. Despite hard-won local and national peace agreements, the population continue to suffer from violence and its consequences. Every area in South Sudan has its own constellation of human security challenges. In Jongle State, particularly a swamp area called the Sud, people are facing a catastrophic combination of political violence, food insecurity, climate change impacts, political turmoil and underdevelopment. Each time there is heavy rainfall or any climatic changes in different locations like Ethiopia and Uganda, much of this water is concentrated in the Jongle region. And what happens is because of the concentration of this water, then most of the communities are forced to evacuate from these locations. They become more and more food insecure. When you look at food security right now in South Sudan, um, more than 8.3 million people are severely food insecure. That's a phenomenal thought. That's two thirds of the population. Part of that is, is the insecurity in the country. The impact of violence over a number of years, the impact of different uh, levels of fighting over many years, and you add that to the shocks that they faced, droughts in parts of the country right now, three years of unprecedented flooding. The people of Jongle have become heavily dependent on international aid for food and other essential services. Many of the people displaced by hunger, violence, natural disasters live in IDP camps. The World Food Programme has been active in the region since the 1980s. Distributing food and other humanitarian aid to the displaced population has not only helped alleviate immediate nutritional needs, but has also offered a degree of protection. Humanitarian assistance give them whatever assistance they need and they don't struggle where they can easily get exposed and the insecurity affect them. So food, provision of food assistance for our case as WP keeps the community intact. The camps where many people live were set up by the UN mission in South Sudan to protect the civilian population but are now become regular IDP camps. In addition, the World Food Programme has had to reduce the food ration that it distributes. This because increasing the bounds and cuts in international funding. This happened even before the war in Ukraine tightened international food supplies. It is now experimenting with ways to make limited resources reach further. Local residents, both inside and outside of camps, are anxious. <laughs> There's a huge humanitarian crisis taking place here right now, but we can't lose sort of sight of the fact that longer term we need to be ensuring that we build resilience, we build towards development activities and ultimately we let people stand on their own two feet. I would like to see a stable community, people doing their own, own work, uh, basic services being available for the communities, health for instance, education, uh, you know, livelihoods not interrupted and that if happens, you know, communities 
would be able to do their own their own things. Those that are in the former uh, IDP sites, those that are in diaspora, in the refugee camps, returning uh, to, to, to South Sudan and contributing to nation building. Kapicham, to ishi. In you are in well food, you are in a bay. Lakin, Kerapu, I look me for a kai boy. I go boy, Kabin Wokoin, Kibu aware, boy, a peer. Peace and stability is a collective responsibility of the communities, of the international community, and above all, the government of the country is on top of everything. Long the Balawini and a bear along the Union, which Panda have a quite panda she very Ben Walubiala Purokish in one We need to have um, integrated programming, specifically looking at the humanitarian aspect as one thing. We also look at programming that looks into peace building as well as programming that looks into development because a combination of these three helps us to bring a better platform as well as a stronger way of addressing most of the issues that are happening in Jonglei.